uh, just as a quick story, because I want to tell a story from my work from the other day. I have, I've avoided telling the story just to be sure that we I could do it during the Pokemon segment, because why not? Uh, I was at work the other day, and there was a handful of customer interactions that I had, but one of the main ones... Uh, also TM for U-turn. Uh, one of the main ones was that a customer, I think it was two people, came in. They were asking for... Just Dance for the Wii. Now, you might be thinking that that is a really stupid thing to say. However, that is actually a valid question to be asking. Uh, because Just Dance, even though it was releasing on modern platforms, did in fact release on the Wii recently, as in the last entry to release on the Wii was Just Dance 2020. So I don't know why they came in and were asking about it, because it was Just Dance 2020 and we don't carry that. Anyway, we finally have uh, Tatsugiri. I'm gonna have to catch all three of these. Uh, Gaston to level 49. This Pokemon tricks its opponents by playing uh, playing dead. It is a small it is small and weak, but it uses its smarts to survive. It's Dragon Water. Yo, fuck Gudra. I want this little friend. <laughs> Uh, Mimicry Pokemon. I wanted to name it, and then I accidentally pressed B too many times, so you don't get a name. I will be sure to catch all three of these. Uh, I did also have a really fun interaction... <clears throat> Or there were some grandparents coming in to... I don't know if we'll catch this one. It's 51. Uh, ooh, crit capture, never mind. We totally got this. There's some grandparents that were coming in and buying stuff for their grandkids. But it was like three brothers. Also, do you have a different entry? Tatsukiri is an extremely cutting Pokemon. It feigns weakness to lure in prey, then orders its partner to attack. Uh, curly form. Uh. Uh. No, I don't even know what the name them, so I'm just not going to. Act like they're served sushi. <laughs> Running away, they don't want to be eaten. And the thing about Tatsugiri is that, like I showed last time, is that... One of the forms of Tatsugiri is the same color as this form, so it's like, how the hell are you able to tell? So now I have to run into every single orange one just to make sure it's not a shiny of a different color. <laughs> like, how am I a how am I going to be able to tell? Get in. There we go, crit cap. Much better. Love how the ball is clipping into the floor. Flowey Joey with level 48. It's one of the most intelligent dragon Pokemon. It camouflages camouflage itself by inflating its throat sac. Yo, is that the frickin' Sring the Springle Dongus? The, the, ho the Horngus of a Dongfish attacked by a Scrungle to a kind of dill sac? The nut sac? Is that what that is? Hold on, now you're being named Nutsec. N U T T E S A C. Nutsec. Good. So I would. Actually, I don't think we have Golduck. I might as well get a Golduck while we're here. You love joining random raids in the post game and it's a one star. Well, at least you one shot it. Actually, we have a Gold Duck already. I forgot I evolved Gold Duck. I for forgot I evolved the side. I can do a Gold Duck. No, I just caught a random Gold Duck for no reason. Well, 
That'll be, uh, one to trade it off later, I guess. <laughs> I was just on autopilot. Uh, I want to explore the perimeter. The ocean is so vast. Yo, speaking of throat sack, there's a Toxicroak over there. Do need to get ourselves a Toxicroak. Yan the waiter is Yan, not Jam. Uh, the fact that you are a Raichu is scaring me, and you're also level 53. Uh, you're probably faster than me. Oh, you went for Tailwood because you're bad. Now I'm bad. Uh, it probably does not matter. I want you to go Baba Booey this thing. Uh... Why are you using Tail Whip? Is it because you're bad at the game? Baba Booey. What do you mean you lived? What?! Metronome. Ow. You better be an attacking move. Horn Drill. Oh, cool. A one-hit KO move that doesn't work. Um... Okay, now you're double-teaming because you're bad? Electro Web. Okay, cool. At least that damages. Swinestein and Baba Booger go to level 49. What? This isn't the ocean. It's a lake. My map says that this body of water is a lake. Aren't lakes basically just tiny oceans? You're a tiny ocean. Well, you're not the Haley I know because you're not Haley. Please catch. Not even close. Thank you. It has a poison sack at its throat. When it croaks, it uh, the stored poison is churred for greater potency. Yeah, throat sack. Well, the uh, the Twitch auto mod gets the word nut sack with two T's. Which I'm, I, I don't know why Twitch auto mod still exists because I've gone into my Twitch settings multiple times and turned it off. I don't know why it's still there. Uh, I'm just gonna use a full restore because I feel like it. And just heal everybody else. Yellow. We caught an Azumarill already. <laughs> That's a Flitchinder. Just follow the perimeter down again. TM for Solar Beam, hello. That's a good move. Except every one of my team is still physical. 
If there's a slow bro here, I may as well also try and catch the slow bro. I don't have quick ball selected. Oh, that would have been sick if it got it anyway, though. Well, sad day for me. Uh, let me just try and get this one. Slowpoke is another one of those Pokemon where it's like, uh, where am I going to find the shiny from? Because they all look the same. Much better. Uh, if the tail biting shelter is thrown off in a harsh battle, this Pokemon reverts to being an ordinary slowpoke. I don't believe that for a moment. That's not real. The only de evolution in Pokemon is Megas. I don't believe you. Uh, Palosand. We do not have. It's easier to try and catch him. Crit cap as well. Perfect. Glowy Jerry goes to level 49. From the hollows in its arms, it fires the bones of its victims, which are all dried up after being drained of their vitality. Yum sand. Drop down onto the beach. There's a Wug Trio secluded down here. Uh, and then this is back over here, which we had been before, but we have not gotten that item. Ultra Ball. Okay, so we did explore a little bit over here before, but I didn't explore, like, all of it. So if I need to go back over there, I will, but for now, we're just gonna still be over here at uh, Kesaroya Lake. Interesting that there's some... I was gonna say it's interesting that there's these Pokemon here, but they're they're literally all salt. Uh, TM for reversal. Uh, can I just like swoosh my way back up into the lake from here? Sure can. Oh, this little book swimming. game was doing that thing where it's randomly closing my map. Uh, Dracoloke? I mean, I may as well. I feel like Dracoloke is one of the most forgettable Gen 8 mon. Just like that middle evolution between Dreepy and Dragapult. With two Pokemon that, like, everybody loves, but in Nobody talks about Draclo. Also, it did not get in the quick ball, so I'm gonna try and do that again. Okay, thank you. I took m more than it should have. Yeah, Stone grew to level 50. This Pokemon stores up energy in its lungs, then shoots it out. It takes care of Dreepy and battles alongside them until they're all grown up. The fuck are you? Wish cash giant looking ass? Dondozo. This just feels. This looks like a legendary Pokemon. 
Well, it's a catfish like Wishcash. Get in the ball. Frames. Well, we got it. <laughs> it's a big water dump pool. Uh, Steve wants to learn EQ. Yo, it. That's right, EQ is physical. Uh, alright, we're not using Iron Defense at all, so. Give me that EQ, thank you. A Viola wants to learn a Bitter Blade. Oh my god, a physical fire move? It's probably its signature move. The user forces its bitter feelings toward the world of the living into a slashing attack. The user's HP is restored up to half of its damage taken by the target. Huge. Uh, I still wanted Clear Smog to have, like, type coverage. I probably don't need Flame Charge, because I'm probably faster than most things. So I'm gonna get rid of Flame Charge. I might reteach it. Uh, big Catfish Pokemon. Uh, it treats Tatsukiri like its boss and follows it loyally. <laughs> Though powerful, uh... Uh, Dondozo is apparently not very smart. I feel like they, at this point, they should have just made it water electric type. <laughs> so I could name you Great Zapfish, or just Zapfish. Uh, but I, I guess the nickname is right there, so Donbozo it is. Because it's stupid. That's literally actually the lore, is that it's stupid. Well, that was neat. There's another Vaporeon here. We don't need to catch another one. I already caught a Vaporeon. The frames just got super framey again, so I need to get out of there. Uh, dive ball. Uh, I'm gonna get up here. There's a needle up here! Good thing I checked. Green needle. Green needle. Brainstorm. Uh, there was also a nugget there, apparently. Scyther, stop. Alright, then I guess that's everything up there. Right, why is it so framey? <laughs> stop, Vazula. Uh, is this a Storaptor? Please come to me. Uh, do I have a Staraptor? I do not have a Staraptor. That's rude of you to do that. Uh, I guess I will just punch you in the face. That did absolutely nothing. Ow. Uh, Aqua Tail? Okay, no. I was only faster because I used the priority move. Swing. Keep hitting yourself with recoil, I'm gonna actually kill you now. Okay, good. Go. Much better. Schweinstein grows level 50. It never stops attacking, even if it is injured. It fusses over the shape of its comb. 
Kum. Very good, that whole mine is in the decks. Muscle feather. Oh, we're getting close. Hey there, Chandler. So rumor has it, uh, has it the false dragon titan lurks somewhere in this lake, yeah? Not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. Must be some kind of a truly terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for a thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Sure would be handy if uh, it just ran out crying, I'm the Titan, or something. If only, right? Well, if there's something giant in the lake, and it's not any Pokemon that's ever been registered to the Pokedex before, that's probably a dead giveaway. Hello, Land Gyarados. Uh, I'll just mark it on my map so I know where we're going. It's all the way over here. Uh, a highly dangerous Pokemon said to lurk in uh, Casserole Lake, luring other creatures close and then feeding on them. Apparently, appearance unknown, but mouth likely large. Use extreme caution. So now I have to check every single one of these. I have to see if there's markings on its head. See if it's a shiny, uh, the other one. I do want to check out other land masses. I love it when it randomly closes my map for no reason. I do want to check out other land masses and things. Oh my god, they're, they're so big. Swablu. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Might not be many more Pokemon to catch around here, so we can kind of go a little bit faster. The exploration. Until I have to stop and check every single Tatsugiri I come across. Yo, Meryl, you, you good climbing that wall? Is it TM? Restored power. Vaporeon. Good. Another TM. For Giga Drain. So I think we found three of those green needles. And I think, like, two of the- at least... I almost thought that the yellow on that person's jacket from a distance was a shiny Azumarill. And my heart stopped for a moment. <laughs> that was one tasty-looking Pokemon. Are you trying to eat the Tatsugiri? I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, man, I saw that Pokemon I saw, it looked delicious. Amir. No, the shininess of Caesar's metal is really cool in this game. Uh, metronome for the fans. Toxic spikes. Uh, that's something. Well, now's the a great chance to show off Bitter Blade on Viola. <laughs> Look at it walking around. Ow. Alright, Bitter Blade. Let's go. I can't believe I heal. I heal so much for using that move. Baba Boar, good to level 50. He wants to send out Slow King. Um. I 
is the fire move I've been waiting for. Uh, my brain always forgets all of these things. So I don't remember if I'm super effective or not very effective. Okay, I'm super effective. So I did- I didn't mention this yet, I meant to and then forgot. Uh, the next, um... I'm gonna BM you. Uh, the next, uh, massive raid event has been announced. Where we just had Charizard retconned into the game. And now we're gonna have Cinderace retconned into the game. Oh, uh, and there's also supposed to be a Christmas event for, like, Delibird, but that's besides the point. Delibird's already in the game. I don't know how to put this, but, like, thanks for the battle. Like, thanks for the battle! It was a really tasty-looking Pokémon, right? It was just going along, and this other huge Pokémon went and, like, gulped it right down. I guess that's what happens when you look so darn tasty. You get eaten. That's what. And Tatsugiri looking like a snack. But yeah, the next thing that's gonna be coming out is, uh, Cinderace. Hello! One of the Pokémon I was gonna put on my party for the start of the stream was, uh, was Dratini. And I didn't do it because of the fact that it takes so long to level up Dratini to... Dragonite, but now I can just get it as a Dragonair. We can catch this one if it gets in the quick ball. It did not shake a single time. Uh, we're going to hit you with, um, Play Rough. I don't think it'll kill. I'm 10 levels under. Nice. Uh, you're just gonna get an Ultra Ball then. Come on. You can't hit me with dragon moves because I'm just a little baby. You don't- you wouldn't hit a little baby, would you? It's trying so hard. It's trying so hard. There we go! Caught ourselves a level 60 Dragonite. We're not gonna use it. That's a cool floor you got there. Well, we have it in the decks now. It can fly in spite of its big and burly physique. It circles the globe in just 16 hours. Man, Dragonite's so cool. Dragonite over Charizard. Uh, then... Is it that right there? It's... Actually, no, we're not even close. It's quite literally the opposite side. Let's start making a... Making our way over there. Uh, I do, however, need to... Heal, and then also fix Blowy Joey's deadness at the moment. Uh, we're also going to switch uh, Baba Booey into the front if we're going to be fighting a dragon type. These Vizula are making their way toward me. I have to check. You're not shiny. I feel like there should also be another one of those needles on one of these islands. Or is it just a, a small trophy of grazing ground? Life orb, hello. I mean, I'll take that.
I did get Jinnaw, I believe. My brain is forgetting what Pokemon I have and have not registered. <laughs> Pretty sure we did Dreadnaw. There's a terrestrialized Pokemon in the middle of the lake. Terrestrialized slow, bro. <laughs> I'm good. I can pass on that. Really not a needle up here. It's just an ether and a gimme ghoul. How lame is that? What are you, Dreepy? It's more Dreepy. Uh Alright, so we can go to this small island, then go to this bigger island. And then head toward the Titan. And then we'll take a look at uh, more of the lake afterward. It's like, how much of this lake is left? There's another terrestrialized Pokemon. Gimme ghoul. Uh, actually not much. It's still just the perimeter. Because we have, you know, the perimeter up here. To take a look at. Terrestrialized Azumarill. That I will also pass on. All these feathers in the lake. The lake is so dirty. So I will use these feathers and have my Pokemon eat them to raise their stats. <clears throat> Another Venomoth. Any of you Chotles and Dreadnoughts want to be green? No. Oh. Dragon Claw TM, that makes sense if we're about to approach the Dragon Titan. We're getting very close. I don't know if there's like any items down there, so I'm just checking. Double store and another gimme ghoul. No, I knew there was gonna be another needle over here. There had to be. It felt like too much of an important place to not have one. Alright, so that's four of these. Interesting that there's some bergmite up here. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't be in the water. <laughs> Seems like an awkward place to put them, because they're normally all the way over there. One more TM for the road. And for Solar Beam again. Alright, so it's just right over here, huh? Oh, there's more Avalog now, too, so I guess they are just showing up here. Uh, there's another terrestrialized Pokemon in the water. We'll go look at that real quick. Oh, I'm sorry, Tatsugiri, I just stepped on you. Are you, uh... Hold that thought. Uh, it's a Dreadnought. Um... I was gonna say, because... You're a little bit bigger, and also swimming on land than a normal Tatsugiri. Um... <laughs> Are they all... They're all calling out that they're the Titan. Is the... 
This is just a guy here. Well, hold on a moment. <laughs> you sure put in some effort coming all the way out here in your own, uh, with your own little legs. You didn't say little, I added that in. Oscar. Caparaja. Oh, uh, you're steel type, so you bother me. Uh, metronome for the fans. Oh, uh, that's raising defense, I'm pretty sure. Or right, raising my attack. And my defense. And my accuracy. I could probably roll swing real good now. Never mind. Uh, but I didn't mean to get a ton of hammer. I meant to match your again. Press the wrong button. I still did a lot of damage, actually. Uh, play with a stab. It'll probably kill. Probably we're level 51, our strongest members again. Those little legs hold up some real great skills. Maybe he did say little, I don't know. Um, there aren't any towns or Pokemon centers or anything around these parts. If you get tired, don't... Yeah, free taxi service. Uh, so is it that first one then? I'm pretty sure it's the first one because it's slightly larger and is literally saying Titan. Um... I da -da! Never mind! I've been being boozled. Uh. Dondozo, the false dragon! Uh, you're not dragon type! That's why it was the false dragon! Well, if you're just water type, then I could bring out. Cast out again and be fine. <laughs> I can't believe that Tatsukiri just died for our sins. Alright, well. We can terrestrialize. We got Flower Trick, which always crits, and now everything's also super effective, and also stab. Just like we did on the first Titan, we're doing it on the last. Yep. A critical hit. It didn't go into Phase 2, though. 69. Uh, have an area release. This seems like a much better Pokemon to have as the Titan, though. I, it would have been really funny, though, if the Tatsukiri was the, was the Titan. But, sadly, it is not. Come back here, you fool! You are getting away! Um... I'm right here. Now come back. I wanted to get a cool picture. Hey, wait, Dragonair, hold up. Uh, 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 Dragonair. <laughs> I guess we'll just get distracted because I don't know where it's going. No! There we go. Also looks like that Tatsugiri is floating. Guess her own good level 51 and Steve and someone else level up. It's called the Divine Pokemon. No, it's not. It's the Dragon Pokemon. 
When its entire body uh, brightens slightly, the weather changes. Oh, it's going over here because it's floating slightly because that's where it is. Oh, yes. Hi there. It just slapped that. Oh, is it the Tatsugiri? Is the Tatsugiri the, the map? Wait, are you walking on water? What's happening? Chandler, did you find the Titan? Uh, so that's it. So this, uh, big, uh, one big, uh, dragon? Is it even a dragon? Or is it a fish? Huh? The Tatsugiri just went in there. Oh, the Tatsugiri ate the Herba Mystica, and then it eats the Tatsugiri. The little sushi guy got eaten up by the Titan? Yeesh, didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. You're using a Greedent to fight this thing. This food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig it up and make a meal of this battle. Well, it's good to know that we're under-leveled for this moment in the game. Slightly. This is Greedon's level 55. Wait, is that his Squavit? From the very start of the game, his Squavit leveled up, but it's now level 55 Greedon? That'd be some good world building. Ah, we got it halfway. Dondoza used Order Up. Well, it doesn't matter now. We've got all this damage for this uh, Dondozo. Dondozo is now Don Dead, Rip Bozo. Uh. Dead. <laughs> All the way to the bottom of the ocean, Lake. We did it, Chandler! Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up on the menu is that Herba Mystica. Hmm? Whoa, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming uh, that thing's lunch! Doctor! Titan! What does it want to do? Fight too? No! The secret boss fight! Tatsugiri the false titan- the false dragon titan. I mean, now it really is the actual dragon titan. Well, you're still water type, but you're not super effective, so now I have to actually go into Baba Booey and teach you a lesson. Guess I was clipping through that for a moment. Okay, just no noise, that's fine. Titan Part 2. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. We should look at Tatsugiri's ability after this. Uh, I think I could just check stats, Tatsugiri. I cannot. Sad. Terrasalize play rough. Tatsugiri used taunt. But we're attacking it anyway, I don't know why it's taunting. Prepare to die! The icy wind does not matter to me! Goodbye, Tatsuki.
It was fun being bamboozled for a moment. The Titan Tatsugiri! Stein, Swinestein grew to level 51. Man, now my socks are wet. Ugh. You, nice job, Chandler. That's my hard-working little bud. Maybe the Titan was both uh, those Pokemon together? Or some kind of combo meal? It would have been so funny. What, what animal was it? It wasn't a whale. There was that one character in Omori who wanted to get combo meals, and if you give him combo meals, he gives you facts about stuff. I want to say it was alligator facts he was giving. I don't remember. <laughs> the one little, uh, the one, little one came out of here, which means there should be some herbivistic inside. Let's go, Chandler. <laughs> Shark facts. Thank you. No, the Pokeball in the center of the room again. That must be it. The last Herba Mystica. Marvin took the spicy Herba Mystica. Please do not get me started on spicy right now, okay? I've, I've dropped the subject. We're not talking about it anymore. Let's see what the book has to say. Seems the spicy Herba Mystica is supposed to boost your uh, metabolism. It gives you a, circu a circulation boost and helps flush out all those toxins, along with a lot of sweat. You know what's next, it's chow time. However, I would love to have this sandwich. Here we go. Trust the Arvin's chock full of full of cheer to the final herb super sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat it, okay? What's so spicy you set the sandwich on fire? I don't think it's a sandwich at that point. Give your sandwich to my ride on. Yes, I do. Gains. And here we go. My ride out of the nail will be able to climb up vertical surfaces. I guess it's Mabostiff's turn then. Hey, buddy. Really hard to see your eyes because the fur looks like your eyes. I guess that just m makes the eyes look a little bit bigger. Come on, bud, eat up. It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Chandler and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want, you know? Just like we used to. Pokeball is still in the center of the screen. It's floating, too. I didn't see what he said. Something about him wanting to be better. That's all he really wants. <laughs> so, like... He didn't die, right? Oh, there's a cutscene. Mabastiff. You did your best, bud. Big boy's getting up! 
Like a good boy. <gasps> a baby. Bud. I know, bud. Me too. Oh. <laughs> I was a big boy. <laughs> I was gonna title this episode Rip Bozo because it's related to everything we just did. I almost think like Rip Bozo would be clickbaiting if I want to include a picture of the cutscene <laughs> in the thumbnail. I have no idea, but good boys back to normal. Hello Chandler, this is Turo. What? It seems that Maridon has regained all of its powers except for the power to battle. It should be able to climb up any vertical surfaces uh, it grabs onto while you're riding upon it. Press the B button to jump while facing a wall. Maridon will grab onto it, allowing you to climb up vertical surfaces. You can move in any direction you like while climbing. By using the left stick, let go of the wall. Press the B button again. I knew you were the right one to entrust it to, Chandler. Pah, listen to you, like you had anything to do with it. That voice. Arvin, are you there? I've been searching so long for a way to reach you, because... Because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Chandler uh, back to the lighthouse with you. To the lab on the Poco Path. I will reach out once more uh, when you arrive there. Ooh. still there, floating in the center of the screen. How did they let that happen? I guess you probably already know. But that's my dad. Always buried under his work. Pursuing his own research. Never got home with me. That's the first time I've heard his voice in years, you know? And you know what? The first thing I get- uh, The first thing I get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? He's seriously unbelievable. I'm guessing you and Maridon probably want to go, eh? Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling, but... Sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path at the lighthouse where you and I first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. Good boy. Dad, where have you been all this time? Commander, when the Pokemon enters a battle, uh, it goes inside the mouth of an allied uh, Dondozo if one is on the field. The Pokemon then issues commands from there. Okay. <laughs> what an interesting ability that is. I also feel like in randomizers for this game, that people are gonna make, that's gonna be a really funky ability. I guess this is only useful in, like, double battles, then. That, that is how the Titan battle goes, so. It was Tatsugiri the whole time. <laughs> then what's the, uh, Dondozo's ability? Unaware? That's completely whatever. Ignores stat changes. Alright, then. Uh... Yeah, I guess it is time to go see what this is about. I have a feeling like something's about to go down, or something really important is going to happen. And I don't know which, and it's probably both. Dondozo has a special move, Order Up, that just gets buffed. <laughs> oh yeah, does my Dondozo have that move? Uh, no, let me just look at it. Uh, Pokemon... Order up move. 
order up the user attacks with elegant poise. The user, if the user has a Tatsugiri in its mouth, this move boosts one of the user's stats based on Tatsugiri's form. If it's in curly form, you get an attack buff. If you get droopy form, it's a defense buff. If it's in stretchy form, it gets a speed buff. I'll look at the little chunk, and now it's gone. Seriously, you beat me here? I flew. <laughs> well, this is the lab. I used to come here and play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Oh, am I going to get the Master Ball? I feel like he's going to let me in. Turo's not going to be there, but I'm going to get the Master Ball. Everyone always says he's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, he's the worst. All he ever does is work, and he never comes home. I don't have a single memory of him ever since, uh, even with playing with me. His own kid. Mabos is the only one who was there for me. Always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. So yeah, I heard early on in this game that depending on the version you're playing, you're either playing Pokemon Mommy Issues or Pokemon Daddy Issues, the game. And, uh, yeah. There's a cutscene here, too? <laughs> Not prepared for, like, a big cutscene. Uh-huh. Okay. I need your help. I like how it's just a static image. I'm currently in the deepest point of Erega Zero, the Great Crater of Paldea. Why does he do that? Why is he just skating completely still but only his mouth moves slightly, like a weird image? I've been researching a unique Pokémon here for a very long time. I'm asking you two to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Turo's glorious research. Final step. But there's something we need first. Something that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Violet Book. You mean this book? Ah, so you took it from my from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Violet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that you'll it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokémon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. It seems that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you uh, if you feel the need. I'll be awaiting you in the deep in the deepest part of Area Zero, wherever you are, uh, whenever you arrive. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mablestiff got wounded in the first place. Down in the great crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? Uh, of course I'm gonna go. I suppose he did ask. 
I can't just stand and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. Well, I guess I'm going to! Besides, I'd love to give Dad a piece of my mind. Oh, tell me about it. Alright then, Chandler, outside! We are going to have a Pokémon battle to see if we are really ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go! Don't look around here. I currently don't see anything. Can I check his fridge? The fridge door is too heavy to open. What kind of fucking titanium is that made of? It's a microwave. Looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. <laughs> At least don't read the book. There's a no photo in this frame. Ouch. Whiteboard is a mess of scribbled letters and numbers. All sorts of research data is displayed on the monitors. Uh, it's a bed for a Pokemon. Maschiff is written on it in kids' handwriting. Oh. Trash can is empty. It's a sink that hasn't been used in a while. The mirror is fogged and hard to see. Uh... Well, let's do it then. A Pokemon battle where we first started having a Pokemon battle. Alright, are you ready for a battle, Chandler? Excellent! You're ready too, right, Mabastiff? Yep, Mabastiff says he's ready. You're battling with Mabastiff? Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. My buddy here's bursting with energy. You'd never know he was uh, just so weak just, uh, just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokémon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he's always loved to battle. Even if, uh, and if, even if we always lost that student council girl, uh, the battle fanatic one. Anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Arbid and Mabastiff, and we're feeling audacious, or maybe, or maybe, Arbacus? That's a word. Let me give you a taste of what we can do! Let's do it! Pokemon Trainer Arvin sends out Greedent! Pokemon that I met during uh, I met during the hunt for the Urban Mystical. All the star stars, every single one of them. Oh, it's a full team of six. He's level 58! You were not level 58 just a few moments ago. Uh, well... Welcome to the rest of whatever this episode is. Uh, we're gonna start with Aqua Tail. That did nothing. Ow. Aqua Tail. Ow. Uh, we're gonna flip turn. Uh, from there... We're gonna go into Viola. You just can't hit me. Uh, then we can just Bitter Blade you. Blowy Joey wants to learn Hydro Pump! Unleashes load upon the world, however, it is a special attack 
of 110 power when I have all of these other moves that are just better. So I'm sorry. Garganackle. That's actually perfect because we have Blowy Joey right here. What the fuck? Why does it let you just, like, do this battle? I mean, obviously, I didn't have to go battle him right now, but, like, the story implies, like, hey, let's go outside and have a battle. I'm not gonna leave him hanging for, like, ten more days. Uh, we're just gonna flip turn again. Just to get that damage. Uh, and then Gaston can come in and Flower Trick. Oh, you missed Stone Edge because you're a bad trainer? Flower Trick should do the trick. Gaston wants to learn Knock Off. Uh, does more damage if the target has a held item. Uh, that would be good later. Actually, it might be better than Night Slash, but Night Slash has a better chance of landing crits. So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna... You know what? I'm getting rid of Night Slash. Uh, Skull Villain. Uh, that we can use Viola for. Actually, now you're, you're Grass Fire, so I don't know. What are you even weak to? Poison. I knew I kept clear smog for a reason. That did nothing. Great. Crunch. Ow. Uh, bitter blade. Gonna heal a bunch. Hoping you'd miss crunch. That's upsetting. Uh, I guess Gaston will just aerial ace. Even now, Viola still gets bullied. Bababooey wants to also learn knockoff. Uh, you have Brutal Swing. It's actually better than Brutal Swing, so yeah. Uh, Toad's Cruel. Grass Ground, right? Um... So you come in again. The so toad's cruel. Gonna flip turn to do the damage. You're faster than me, but you're also bad. I guess you are just weak to flying. The stone doesn't really need to leave. Uh, 
Sludge bomb. Ow. Please don't do that. Cloyster. You got ice moves. Uh, we can probably Gigaton hammer you if you're ice type. Wah. Never mind. Uh, play rough. I missed play rough. Oh, that's fine. You're setting up a light skin. That's special moves, right? Uh, that's fine. Said I was a special attacker. That's rude. Uh, we're gonna hope Gigaton Hammer kills. Sure did. Let's go. And Mabastiff. Now the thing is, he's gonna terrestrialize his Mabastiff, because if it's just Mabastiff, you're dark type. Which means I should be able to stay in. That's rude, though. Uh, even though I have no HP, I'm terrestrializing Playrough here. Your Pokeball's upside down. Watch him terrestrialize into something that's like not dark. Okay, just he just went dark, full dark mode. You know, I hope I'm faster. <laughs> Flashy cutscene for nothing. Probably tried. Alright. We've got Hammer Arm. We haven't used uh, Swinestein or Steve. You've also got a, uh, a fairy type move, so it's fine. Uh, we're gonna see if I can work up. No, I cannot. You were faster than me. That did not work the way I wanted it to. However, I got rid of your Intimidate. So I just went for the play rough. Uh, we're gonna hope that you miss. You did not miss. All right, casualties of war. It's fine. Steve's the only one who hasn't gotten the spotlight here. Thunder Nate redeemed Peepus. Here is your Peepus. Thank you. Hammer arm. On the quick claw pop. Does nothing. No, I have lingered the world though. Oh, that's like half my health. I could probably live another. Alright. I live on three, we're fine. Alright, so now we hope for the Quick Claw popping. 
Quick Haul did not pop. However, uh, Blowy Joey is still alive. And Blowy Joey can use Jet Punch, and that should be it. Nice. A close battle indeed. You had me down to the wire. We're so close, Mabastiff. So close. But Chandler, thanks, little buddy. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Well, don't discredit yourself. I must hate to admit it, but I don't think we're gonna need more support. I, I do think we're gonna need uh, some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there too. I'd say we need at least two more people as well. Someone, uh, somebody with some champion ranked level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. The student council girl? Yeah, she'd be the perfect for the job, but I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level. As a champ- uh, as in champion rank level. But, well, we gotta do what we gotta do. But, uh, whoever you think, uh, could be a help, uh, just try and get, uh, get in good with them. We'll see if we can get, uh, get a team together, get in, uh, touch, uh, get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. All right, the Path of Legends complete. We did it, we finished one of the storylines. However, in the map, uh, it's interesting to note that Area Zero seems to be post-game stuff. Like this giant stuff in here is all post-game. If we're to go by the fact that the credits are going to roll after we become a champion or whatever. Uh, however, we now have the ability to climb up walls. Uh, so let's do that, right? There we go. This makes everything so much better. I'm a fucking frog now, just hopping from side to side. We can now go in many new places around the world because of this. Uh, we probably don't need to be over here, though, uh, because we explored all of over here already. Uh, but one thing that's been bothering me is this right here. I don't know what's over here, but we're gonna go over here.